Turtles are some of the most popular pet reptiles in the whole world, and for good reason, they're amazing. But what if I told you you're probably not keeping yours correctly, and most people aren't. Today I'm going to tell you why. Turtles are probably not the pet for you. My name's Adam, this is Floyd, you're watching Wiccan's Wicked Reptiles, stick around. Now Floyd uh, is just kind of a shell today. This is a box turtle. So you're used to seeing things like red ear sliders, which are aquatic turtles. And I've got some of those too. I've got a Mississippi map turtle and I have a yellow belly slider. These are amazing turtles. This turtle though, doesn't get enough love. It's a box turtle. There's a bunch of different ones, Easterns, Ornates, a whole bunch of different ones. And of course they are not aquatic. They are mostly terrestrial, but my aquarium's upstairs and I film downstairs and I'm not moving 120 gallons down here. So we're gonna film with Floyd and I'll show you a whole bunch of these cool aquatic turtles. First of all, what even is a turtle? Well, a turtle is an animal that is a reptile, right? Turtles also incorporate tortoises by the way, but we're gonna talk about not tortoises. You can watch this video right here for that. So box turtles are the most common ones that are going to be terrestrial. There's leaf turtles and a whole bunch of others, but we're gonna talk mostly about aquatic turtles today. Now those are your yellow belly sliders, red ear sliders, terrapins, Mississippi map turtles, musk turtle. There's a whole bunch of different ones and they're all amazing. But let's concentrate on the really popular one, the red ear slider. This kind of incorporates almost every species of turtle. All of these reasons why you wouldn't want to keep one or maybe why you'd want to watch this video before you get one because the care for turtles is generally wrong in the care guides that you read and the movies that you've watched. We've all seen a movie, probably an 80s or 90s movie, where the family has a turtle in their living room. And it's generally in a very tiny enclosure with no basketball and no UVB and just overall it's a mess. You need for a red ear slider, something like 125 gallons, period. I'm not willing to budge on this, I'll die on this hill. They produce so much waste and there's no filter in the world, no pump in the world that's gonna be able to get that much waste out and you're not giving them enough swimming area and you need a full basking area and you need UVB. The aquarium that I have is 150 gallons. It's five feet long. This thing weighs an absolute ton. Yes, it has leak. Yes, it has ruined my floor. Yes, it has ruined the basement. So I've had the experience and I understand why it is really, is the juice worth the squeeze is what we're trying to say here. And because I actually love turtles and it's something that's the centerpiece of my living room and also they pay the rent by being featured in videos like this, Yes, it is. But if you're not willing to literally do household repairs because you have an aquarium leak, it's something that you might want to reconsider. But although that might not ever happen, the, f the point is that I'm trying to make, you need this giant enclosure, this giant aquarium that you're going to have to service. And it's not the easiest thing in the world. It's not the hardest thing in the world, but servicing water is a lot more difficult than servicing air and substrate because in the water, it's gonna be just more difficult to get the pH right, get the nitrates right, get all of that stuff right, especially with animals that produce so much waste. They, they poop a lot, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. Now, I put fish in my aquarium too. Now, this is maybe harder or easier. So this is kind of a pro for turtles. You can cohab them. Obviously do your research what fish are gonna be okay with what turtles. If you have really fast turtles, don't get slow fish, stuff like that. That's a different video in and of itself. The diet is actually pretty easy for most turtles. Now I'm not gonna go really into it because if you have you know, a side neck or you have a red ear slider, it might be different, but you can buy a prepared diet and depending on the species, you can give them live insects and things like that. It's not gonna put you out in terms of price. It's gonna be pretty cheap, but the cost of the enclosure is really where you're gonna see the cost rise of keeping the animal in the first place. And talking about cost, UVB. Now all turtles have shells. They all need UVB light in order to not die a terrible death. Now you'll see Floyd here, although this is a more terrestrial type species, has a very weird shaped shell. The shell should not look like this. They should be round. And the reason that Floyd's shell looks like this is simply because, well, he's never had UVB. I got him when he was 13. He had the same UVB bulb that was purchased 13 years ago. And guess what? They last six, eight, 12 months maybe, depending on what company you go with. So uh, not good. And most turtles that I see in people's homes don't have UVB, which means that they're going to get metabolic bone disease, they're gonna have shell issues, and it needs UVB to be healthy. To make it really simple, 
linear UVB, a tubular UVB bulb, not a CFL. Those things are garbage, completely useless. And change it every six months or every eight months or better yet, get a meter to test when it needs to be changed. They last six to 12 months, depending on what company you go with. There's a link below for the ones that I use if you want to use those. Same with the basking bulb. But again, just you're going to watch a care guide and figure all this stuff out. Maybe you're thinking about getting a turtle and this is the first video you come across and I'm not trying to persuade you not to get one. I'm just persuading you that you should do the right thing rather than the wrong thing. Okay, let's move on. Just before we move on, I want to say a special thanks to Into the AM for sponsoring today's episode. I love this clothing brand. Whether it is kind of basic tees like this, fully basic tees, v-necks, or full out the coolest designs you've ever seen, I feel cool and confident in this clothing and it fits me just right. So whether you're editing videos until the sun comes up, you're out for a run at the gym or just lounging around the house, this is the perfect clothing brand for everybody. And right now, if you go to intotheam.com slash WWR, you can get three of these wicked graphic tees for only $54.99. Intotheam.com slash WWR. Thanks for sponsoring today's episode. And let's just round up the cost real quick. I mean, these things are not cheap at all. The turtles that I got, these ones that you're seeing here, I got for free. My friend said, hey, you live down the road 30 minutes. I'm moving. Uh, I want to get rid of my turtles. You want them? Sure. No problem. Do they come with an enclosure? Yep. Boy, I'm thousands of dollars into these free turtles. It's not going to be free. I promise. Also, time and commitment. Simply, these animals are not short-lived creatures. They're very long-lived creatures. That means that if you go ahead and get yourself something like a red ear slider, it could last 40 or 50 years. There are some turtles that are going to last 70 years. So, I mean, I'm 31. Okay, so that means that if I were to go out and get a turtle that lasted 40 years even, that means I'm going to have that thing. By the time I have grandkids, they're going to be grown up in my age. Maybe, we'll see. I should probably reproduce first before I... Anyway, I'm going to have them for a very long time and I might not be around by the time that they are uh, into adulthood, these turtles, right? So you want to make sure that you have a plan because... Although you can kind of re-home turtles and they're not going to really care as long as it's a really nice home and there's no stress in the move. It's not like a dog who will actually miss you for the most part. Turtles, sorry to break your heart. Your turtle doesn't love you. But just keep in mind, it's not like a hamster. It's not going to die in three years. It's not something that you get when your kid is, you know, in grade four. And by the time they're in high school, if you get it for little Timmy because he passed kindergarten, that he's going to have this thing by the time you are long dead. This is so morbid. Let's just, okay, let's wrap this up. The last thing, why would you want one in the first place? Well, turtles are awesome. I have my turtles in my living room. It takes up almost the entire wall. On one end is the television. I've got some enclosures, like, because my whole house is a zoo, basically, with other things. But generally, the one that I look at the most are the turtles, because the space inside of the turtle enclosure is water. Therefore, your eyes are going everywhere, not just on certain perches or certain, like, the ground or certain leaves, literally everywhere they can go. And there's two turtles in there, so they can cohab, which is great. Do your research on how to do that. Just don't go willy-nilly throwing turtles everywhere. The problem is when you don't put in the work and you don't put in the money, then you're going to have miserable turtles and it's not going to be fun because it's going to turn into a box of green soup. You don't want that. The enclosure that I have is beautiful because we set it up correctly and it wasn't cheap and it was a lot of work, let's say, to maintain and do that so that it looks that pretty. But when people walk into my house, it does not smell like turtles. Because I'll tell you what, when I walked into my buddy's house to get these turtles, oh boy, did it ever smell like turtles. And it's just because he didn't have them set up properly. So it doesn't smell like turtles in my house and it looks beautiful. Everyone who comes over stares at these turtles. They'll walk in the front door, they'll turn around, <gasps> turtles every single time. So that is my long-winded way to say, do not get a turtle until you really think about it. I love these animals and I'm sure you do too. And I'm sure you would never neglect an animal on purpose. But if you don't know, there is a possibility that you don't know what you're doing. And you don't know the things that you don't even know that you don't know. Anyway, I would love for you to hit subscribe. If you really like this video, there's a lot more like this. Hit the like button, it helps the channel so much. A special thanks to the Patreon supporters. You guys got this video early. You guys get all the videos early, discounts on merch, a whole bunch of like, I'm sending out goodies this month, a whole bunch of that for as little as a dollar and more. And uh, that's it. Cause I do videos on Mondays and Thursdays. It means I'll see you in the next one.